nothing really much on the wages front here. It depends on how you look at it. I guess the um, earnings 0, 03 versus 01. Uh, the, the main thing, I think, is the revisions. The revisions here tell you uh, that the job market was a bit stronger than we thought. The um, three-month average, which was actually coincidentally equal to my prediction, is now higher. It's 224. Um, it was 214 going in. Um, so the three-month trajectory is higher. Um, I don't see too much in terms of saying that the job market has meaningfully slowed. I have construction at 19, manufacturing at 37. Um, pretty good dispersion here, and also temp help up as well. Um, it's in the range. It's in the range, but I also think that it's not as hot as maybe people had hoped. And I think what would this, what would have a Goldilocks number been? And we should we this is a Goldilocks that, we, number. We should say that uh, the futures right now have come down a little bit here. Well, a Goldilocks number probably would have been between 180 and 190,000. But I would argue that this is not a bad number either. We should expect fluctuations yeah. month to month. This could be revised upward by next month. And the reality is that the economy is on a very strong trajectory. We just have to recognize that there are risks looming. We're looking in the rearview mirror now, and what we really need to be doing is looking forward. But to Steve's point, Austin, okay, this number was called, you know, 33,000 below the consensus, but June was revised up 35,000. So if you add those together, you basically get 190. I mean, jobs don't start and end on a calendar basis. Manufacturing jobs jumping dramatically. More than 300,000 new jobs in manufacturing have been created over the last 12 months, 518,000 in professional and business services. This is a strong economy, even if the headline number did not match the consensus. Yeah, I hope that's right. Uh, you know, a, a, right. as I've said all along, you never want to take one job number or one any number as a trend. You want to see a lot of them. So taking an average is a better idea. Now, job creation is still going pretty well, but has slowed compared to where it was three years ago. So the last 18 months are slower than the 18 months before that. Part of that's natural because we're running out of people. But, uh, you know, if we get misses like this, and, and I predicted, you, you see on the chart, I was the closest because I thought we're getting a little cooling down. If we get multiple months of this, then, then we might, the Fed might have to start having to reconsider a little bit. Well, Andy Chan, is the Fed going to reconsider? Yeah, I don't see anything, you know, again, if you look at the last three months, you look at the upward revisions on May and June, I think it's steady as she goes. That wage number 2.7 year over year, that's right about what we expect. It's slow. Uh, we're not seeing anything here that I think is completely out of the ordinary that would cause the Fed to alter course between now and the end of the year. So I, I mean, I, th th obviously disappointing to the downside is never good, but we'll see what this number gets revised to but is this a like month a bad from now. News, good news situation? Is that what's happening here again? What well, we talked about earlier, Andrew, was the idea that the market, I, look, to be perfectly, what's the word, clinical about it? Yeah. The market doesn't care about job growth. Only as a sign That's, of, yes. and, and the market shouldn't care. The market is not a person, not a thing. You spent the last hour talking about job growth. No, 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 but I mean, it, it, <laughs> it is, if, it's, if it's a strong number in, in terms of that. No, but what, what I mean to say, what, what I'm looking at here is, I'm trying to see if somebody can look at this thing and see some impact of trade in the softness, and I don't see how they would see that. Um, manufacturing, 37,000. These are good numbers. We've had 37,000. How about this? I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll help you out trade, 12,000. The pace of growth, as far as my little scan here can tell, in terms of wages and jobs added, the pace of growth is starting to slow slightly. How about that? I, I'm, I'm trying to think where we would see it in the individual sectors. And if I could see it over a three-month trend or even a two-month trend, I can't see it. Um, we did hear from Mark Zandi yesterday that perhaps certain multinationals, some of the bigger companies, are out there and maybe hiring a little bit less. I would be a little skeptical of that until I saw a trend on that.